Hey guys, welcome to episode 9 of the Not So Cheap Build in which I'm putting together two Broncos into one. And if you haven't seen 1 through 8, please go back to my channel and see that. So far, you can see the tub back there is pretty much stripped. Um, there's a lot of paneling that I need to fix. I'll include that in some of the other videos. But my plan right now really is to take the tub off of the frame so that I can work on the you know, engine transfer case, the tranny and the transfer case, uh, and get that all settled in, uh, clean the frame, clean the axles, regasket, whatever else have you that I need to do with the frame, uh, wiring, exhaust, you know, all of those good things before I put the body back on top of it uh, with new bushings and things like that. And then from there, from that point on, it will probably be painted. Uh, and then after it's painted, I'm going to continue to put together the engine bay, the wiring, and the rest of the things that I need to put back in on the Bronco. And we can probably, after the paint job, I can tell you that we can probably see the light at the end of the tunnel at that point. So uh, it's very exciting. For now, though, I'm going to get busy and I'll come back here and there to update you on what's happening here and I'll, how I'm going to remove that tub from the frame. A great example of you know, trash to other people and I can use it is this hard top right here from a Bronco. I mean, it's hard to, you know, remanufacture the corners of it, but the top is pretty much solid. So I can use the metal for that Bronco back there eventually when I build a hard top. So I'm just going to take it in three pieces, put it away for now, and then I'll use it again later. You know what I mean? So I'll just cut around it, take it off and then put it away. I already took off the uh, side glass for it and I'm gonna put it on the cardboards and just tuck that away somewhere. I know I'm gonna use it in the future. didn't have a lot of footage from last time so this is a continuation from last time so I can make this episode I think we're at episode 9 now um, what's today well I'm about to start some body work starting with the floor pan uh, and then when I'm done with that hopefully I can do the, the tunnel and then the part for the pillar the A pillar is gonna come today and then I am hoping to be able to weld that in again. But things take time, so we'll start with the uh, floor pan first on the driver's side, and then we'll go from there. Again, guys, this is not a do-it-yourself channel. I am just showing you what I do for entertainment, and hopefully you enjoy. All right, check this out. This is the passenger side um, pan. And as you can see, it's, it's just totally gone. So I cut off a few things here. So I need to get to the bolt, the body bolt right there, the body mount bolt. And uh, so I had to cut, cut the bolt, cut some of the materials, but I need to continue to remove a lot of these things that are spot welded in there so I can spot weld the other pan in here and weld them in here on the side. So that's uh, the plan for today. That might take me all day actually. Uh, and I decided to buy a new pillar because this pillar that I took out from the red one, as you can see, it is very rusty inside. So water has gotten into this and uh, just let it rot for years and years. And that's what happens. And I want to put that, I don't want to put that back in this Bronco. That way it gives me a little bit more time. Now, another issue I have is the mounting bolts for the fender right here has broken off or they chopped it off and uh, it's impossible to replace that without ruining this whole damn thing so I uh, just went and bought a new one and then we will weld that in here make it fit nice try out the bumpers I mean the fenders and things like that uh, I'm also tr testing out some rust conversion compound so some of the areas 
of course that are rusty I want to kill the rust so I'm using something like this to kill it um, I applied it here on this side of the fender for now and we'll see what happens in about an hour 30 minutes an hour uh, something here as well but and then another thing too is this is the pan uh, fortunately it came with this part so I can put it in there unfortunately this part has been left out without any primer or paint so it's got surface rust but that's nothing I can remove that I can treat it and kill the rust both top and bottom and then install it there and we'll be good to go and besides I'm planning on treating the bottom of this anyways the bottom of the Bronco so that um, it will be protected marking it just to see where I'm at nothing permanent for now but I need to cut things old things so. quick update I've already grinded down what I need to grind down where the tack weld is I gotta drill holes in these things before I clean it and prep this um, like I said it looks rusty in the surface but this is a good shape metal there's no holes in it speaking of holes though I need to fix this before I paste this in because it doesn't cover it so uh, underneath this I've removed all the rusty stuff yeah and whatever rust is remaining I will I already talked about this a rust conversion thing look at what happens this is what happens it becomes super hard and that the rust here is pretty much taken care of if that's the case uh, but I was just testing it there testing it on the inside of this fender wall and uh, you know I think to make it look good prep the metal a little bit but let me show you what I have over here on that frame okay so I tested it on this rusty frame as well see that right there they used to be what it's called and what I oh, they used to be what it looks like what I did was I just used this to clean the surface a little bit to clean the, the uh, loose rust applied that rust converter and this thing is hard you know I mean it doesn't even want to take off some of this flakes that's on it because it made it hard uh, and then I tested a little bit of paint right there so it looks good but like I said before I apply that thing surface needs to be a little bit more presentable and straight because or else you're gonna have like that look which is not good guys remove the cancer and replace it with the new panel right there or just a little bit of a tab um, luckily this is a 4x4 and this will be lava lined or what do you call that bed truck lining so it doesn't matter if you get dents and little things here and there um, but at least cancer is gone 
Now I'm going to work on grinding the tub so I can um, tack weld it in here and I'll be good to go with the tub. Good to go. I gotta fix that. I'll be next. Alright guys, check it out. Here's my progress for today, but it's the end of the day and uh, things kind of taking a little bit longer. So to be continued tomorrow, I'll finish this and then moving on to the next one. Don't know what that is, but moving on to the next one. Cleaned up pretty good after I used a wire wheel, of course, attached to my four inch grinder and uh, worked out pretty good. I'm going to treat it. Paint it, and good to go. Hey guys, different day. Uh, left off last night without, uh, I didn't complete tack welding this driver's side, driver side uh, pan to the uh, rest of the body there. And uh, But I treated it with this rust preventative and rust uh, conversion compound and uh, it's ready to be painted now check this out though anyway so that one right there uh, is exposed to the element and when it rained created this created this white film um, I guess my mistake was leaving the rust prevention thing on it overnight and it rained what needed to happen was it needed to be painted as soon as um, it was dry so anyways that can be cleaned apply some more of that compound make it dry and then uh, then go ahead and paint it hmm my welder is going nuts anyway having welder issues as well because I don't know what was happening, but see all of those? I don't know if you can see it, but wires were getting tangled inside. Shetty. Anyways, it's finished for now. And that's how it's going to look. I'm going to grind those weld spots down. Uh, and then the edges will get a seam sealer. All the edges will get seam sealer. And then I'll get a uh, bed truck coating and good to go. Very solid. How exciting, guys. Move it on to the next fix. I'm going to try and fix that one, the hole right there. Body work definitely is the most tedious. I don't hate it. I don't like it. But remove this little panel right here from over there and I'm putting a new panel in from the donor vehicle on the same spot so it's the same gauge everything mm. okay we'll see if it fits good All right, guys, filled in with the welds, didn't warp the metal, thank goodness, but uh, time to grind it. I'll probably wait to grind all of this stuff all at the same time, so I'm going to be fixing other things for now.
I'm going to call it the day because body work slow. I mean, there's a lot of things you got to do to prep, to weld. Um, so I'll continue on on the next episode. I uh, was able to fix the um, driver's side, driver's side, I'm messing this shit up. I was able to fix the driver's side floor pan and the hole on the uh, transmission tunnel. Uh, and then I'm moving into the uh, beep pillar or the striker post right here because it's all rusty. So I'm gonna fix that as well. I just treated it, but something came in, of course. The only thing about ordering parts if you're in an island like this is that you get killed in the shipping. And uh, of course, this is a $130 part with $45 or $50 shipping. I have no choice. But like I said, I needed to replace. This is the pillar for the driver's side on the front, brand new. So that I don't have to put the rusty ones back in there. Um, I think it may be the only brand new one I'm going to buy anyways. For this, the rest I'm going to make. Because this is stamped and all kinds of shapes. And it's a little bit harder to uh, copy. Alright. Y'all have a good one. Aloha.